You know, I feel so fortunate. I am a working actor now. <laughs> a paid professional. So fortunate, in fact, that I was chosen from at least 844 people to participate in the national tour of Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods. I got to live on a bus for nine months as I toured this great land of yours and mine. I got to visit 120 cities in nine months, from Alaska to New Jersey, and learn just a little something about myself to boot. Onto the bus you go again to stop for lunch you don't know when. Onto the bus you go and then you take an endless journey into the town of Bumblefuck where evolution must be stuck. Out of the bus you're out of luck. Out of the bus to eat at Hardy's. Back on the bus for 50 miles then off again to eat at Hardy's. Back on the bus for 20 miles then off again to eat at Hardy's. Back on the bus for 7 miles then off again to eat at Hardy's. the bus without delay we have an early matinee onto the bus who knows what may be lurking in the bathroom onto our home away from home for soon we'll reach the holodome onto the bus again to roam off of the bus to eat at hardy's back on the bus to bitch and moan and bitch and bitch and eat and bitch again off of the bus you're at the motel off of the bus you're at the motel the maids are from the Ku Klux Klan. Your roommate smells like Ed McMahon. The sheets are all brown. The water is too. I sort of hate to ask it, but could you please put a rifle in my mouth and shoot me? <laughs> your surprise the set's been cut to half the size into the show you compromise by dressing in the alley into the show you're learning that your wig's been pooped in by a rat into the show the star is fat she's singing flat your microphone's broken the pit's too loud the lights are cracked the crowd looks like the kid from deliverance out of the show 